The reuse of already run interacting sliding parts of piston rings. Pistons and cylinder running surface should be done using common sense and expertise. The sealing system is only as effective as its weakest component. It is not practical or even sensible to attempt to recondition an engine by only changing the piston rings. Simply replacing the rings while reusing a worn piston or a worn cylinder liner will not yield the desired results. Clean used pistons thoroughly from adhering dirt. Make sure that the ring grooves are free of carbon and dirt. Use a drill or another suitable tool to clean the oil draining bores if necessary. An important check is the visual inspection of the ring grooves for wear. Small scratches, dirt or unevenness causing a very fast abrasive wear of the new piston rings. Pay attention that no damage is caused to the groove sides when removing the carbon. The lower groove side is a sealing face. Damage due to scratches may use high oil consumption or an increased blow-by gas emission during engine operation. Whenever new piston rings are to be fitted on used pistons, the ring height clearance will decide on whether the piston can be reused. The piston ring concerned is inserted into the cleaned ring groove and measured with a feeler gauge. The table shows up to which ring height clearance a piston can be reused. Fitting of the piston rings. It is essential that piston ring pliers are used for fitting and removing piston rings. Attention! If the piston ring is fitted quickly by hand and without breaking, this may be evidence of the skills of the mechanic, but it will usually result in damage to the piston rings when they are fitted. Except of steel rail oil control rings, never fit the rings manually. Never twist a piston ring during the fitment. If the ring is deformed and no longer lies flat in the groove, it can no longer rotate in it, wears on one side or will no longer seal properly. Piston rings with molybdenum coating getting small invisible fractures in the coating, a kind of pre-damage. Due to strong overexpansion, the molybdenum breaks out. Pay attention to the markings. Top means that this side must face the top, towards the combustion chamber. Check whether the rings can rotate freely in the ring grooves. Check whether the ring disappears completely in the ring groove along its entire circumference. For example, the sliding surface of the ring should not protrude over the piston skirt. This is essential since the ring function is not warranted if there is no groove base clearance, for example, due to an incorrect ring or a carbonized groove base. When mounting two-piece oil control rings, always pay attention to the position of the spiral expander. The ends of the spiral expander must always be opposite the ring joint. With three-piece rings, the correct position of the expander spring is indispensable for ensuring the oil scraping function. Prior to installing the piston, always check the position of the expander springs on pistons with pre-assembled rings. The ends of the springs are in a loose condition. Both color markings on the expander spring ends must be visible. If these are not visible, the spring is overlapping and the ring can consequently not function properly. 
All ring joints of the three-piece oil control ring, the two steel rails and the expander spring must be mounted with an offset of 120 degrees to their counterparts. Rotate the piston ring joints of the pre-assembled piston in such a way that the ring joints are approximately 120 degrees offset to each other. This helps the pistons and the rings during the first engine start. Offsetting the joint ends prevents too much blow-by gas from being produced during the first start of the engine and therefore the engine starts poorly. All necessary tools for fitting piston and piston rings in passenger cars or commercial vehicles we are offering in a service tool set. Article number 5000913. For further information, please mind our brochure, Piston Rings for Combustion Engines, available on our website, msmotorservice.com.